Hello, it is Mary Ann Mocha, and in this video, I am going to be doing a one full week of giving Mocha his insulin and how that's been going on. So before I get started, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video. With that being said, let's get into it. So if you notice the bags under my eyes, I wake up at 8.45, I think it is when my alarm's set, every morning so I can give Mocha his morning shot, feed him, well, feed him and then give him his morning shot. So, when we found out that he was diabetic, that was 8.13, his blood sugar was 436. On um, 8.15, his blood sugar was 442. That's when I tested it for the first time at home. I did it on the Tuesday. It would have been a week from taking him to the vet. His blood sugar was... 396, that was on 820. And yesterday, 825, I tested his blood sugar two hours after he ate his one eighth cup of kibble and morning treats. His blood sugar was 280. So for diabetes dogs, their blood's got to be between 150 and 200. So, from the time that we found out he was diabetic to now, he dropped 200, 200 points, I think. It's too early. I It's literally... 9 31 i'm tired i've got to wash clothes my teeth hurt <laughs> that's a whole nother story i won't get into it so on in the notebook that i have in front of me i have the date his breakfast lunch dinner morning shots night shots and then blood so, in the morning for his breakfast every day, I give him his kibble and his four morning treats. Which his morning treats is a dental treat, um, hip and joint, allergy. And there's a cranberry one right now that I've been, I'll give it to him until he, he's done. He just ran out of his gut health. So I don't know if we're going to keep um, giving him the gut health or not. I just realized I have toothpaste on my shirt. For lunch, it's either green beans, grilled chicken, um not green beans turkey yeah green beans and turkey some days I'll give him grilled chicken um but most of the time I've gave him turkey meat and green beans for his lunch for dinner I've done the first day doing the shots, I gave him a treat, which his favorite treat for any time is, um, there's a place here called Lenny's. 
it's a sub shop and they cut the meat in front of you. They used to cut the meat in front of you and I think they do still. And they make the sandwich in front of you. It's kind of like a Subway, but better, a lot better. They have flavored teas. They have, not teas, um, lemonades. Their newest flavored lemonade is watermelon. So that's his favorite meal. So the first day he got Lenny's turkey meat. The next day he had, um, I think I did two eggs. I scrambled them and put some turkey meat in it. It didn't have this mix mixture that I made. The next day he had turkey, just turkey meat. And then I started, I made turkey meat, cottage cheese, uh, green beans and carrots together. Mixed that together and fed that to him. So the green beans and carrots, you boil, have them in a pan and cook them where the carrots are done cooking. And then why that's doing its thing, um, put in, put your green, your ground beef or your turkey meat in a pan, brown it, basically cook it up. And when the turkey meat's done and the green beans are done, in a bowl, a Tupperware, because you can put it in the refrigerator. Um, <clears throat> put it in your bowl. Put the ground beef in there. Strain the liquid that is of your, um, green beans and carrot, strain the mixture, put that in the bowl, put a, the tub of cottage cheese I got was a small cup, tub, so I just put the whole thing in there, but I think the lady put a cup of cottage cheese in, mix that up and give a half cup to your dog, it's a good substitute to kibble mocha loved it and that was except for the last two times he had one scrambled egg mixed in with the turkey um turkey cottage cheese all that and his night shot, I try to give it at the same time or close to it. It's always between 8 to 7.45. But I try my best to get it at the same time every day. Same with the morning shot. It's anywhere from 9.05 to 9.22. There was only one day I had to give it to him really early. And that was because there was a early morning doctor's appointment that we had to go to. I would have rather gave him it at 9 o'clock because it made his meals stretch out a lot longer. So, Mocha's been doing really good on it. I don't think he's put on much weight anymore. But he's been doing really good. Here is all the needles I have used so far. I always feel bad that 
I am giving him the shot, but I know he needs the shot because of the fact that he's diabetic. <clears throat> he also ha I have also, um, the, the needle that I prick his blood with. It has his AccuCheck. Um, strips in there. <clears throat> He's been doing good. He's had a lot more energy. He hasn't been... When I first... When I first got his blood tested... I've had to fill up the water two times. So, but since he's been on the medicine for a week now, a whole week, almost two weeks, um, his, he hasn't been drinking as much water and that's a good thing. Because I believe it means we're getting his insulin under control. I will end this video here. Oh, excuse me. Like I said, I've I've been getting up at 8.45 every morning. And there's been two or three times that. I haven't gone to bed until after midnight. I'm laying in bed, but I haven't fell asleep until after midnight. So it's like, I don't want to get out of bed, but I know I have to, so I can take care of my boy. So I'm gonna end this video here like comment subscribe turn on your notifications to let you know whenever i post another video with that being said i hope excuse me hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you watch this bye